Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to read a book called Stripes. And if you remember, the last time we read, we read a book called Spots. And stripes are just another pattern that you might see anywhere in nature or in the world. If you look at the cover on the front, you see stripes on the fish and you see stripes on the zebra. The back of the book says stripes everywhere. Where have you seen stripes? Look around. You might be surprised. We're going to read Stripes by Catherine Friend. She wrote the words. She's the author, and I'm assuming she probably did the pictures too. You'll notice they're not illustrations or drawings. They're photographs. Sometimes um, we use photographs in books. A lot of times that's in nonfiction books, which are stories that are giving you real information. They're not made up. So Stripes by Catherine Friend. She has a great last name, doesn't she? Friend. Look at the stripes on this tiger. Look at the stripes on this flower. Look at the stripes on this fish. You might notice that the pattern is repeating. It's the same words except for the last one. See the stripes? Look at the stripes on this zebra. He has very pretty black and white stripes, doesn't he? Look at the stripes on this bird. Oh, wow. They're a little harder to see, but the feathers do make a stripe pattern. And this is a type of woodpecker. They're one of my favorite birds to watch. Look at the stripes on these rocks. Look at the stripes on this butterfly. And look at the stripes in the sky. This page is very interesting. It has a different pattern. It changes. Sometimes in a predictable book, which is a book that has the same pattern of words over and over again, they'll try to trick you. You have to really be looking at those words with your eyes. Because if you were looking at this, you might say, look at the stripes in the sky. But Looky here, we have the word and, and we know that word because it's one of our popcorn words. And it also has the, in, the. All of those are sight words, our popcorn words for us. So we know those words. So if we're looking at the words, we won't be tricked by the author into saying, look at the stripes in the sky. We'll be looking at the words and catching those differences. And that's really important as you learn to read. That you don't just say what your brain remembers that the page says, but you actually look at the words to make sure that you're catching all those words, not making any mistakes. So be sure you're looking at the words. I always recommend when you read, at the beginning of reading when you're little and you're just learning that you point at those words so that your eyes are looking at them and your brain is thinking about them. So, and look at the stripes in the sky. Make sure you're doing that. Now, inside of our back cover, there's a little blurb and I'm gonna read it to you. Animal stripes. Do you like to wear clothes with stripes? Many animals wear stripes too, but the stripes are on their body. Sometimes those stripes are actually for camouflage. It helps protect the animal to keep them from being eaten by another animal. So, I hope you have a good day and we'll be looking at stripes again tomorrow. Bye-bye.